This is Ken with CB World. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to test your CB antenna coax. Situations where you'd want to test this coax are when you have a high SWR or you're having a poor transmit or receive with your radio. The coax can be a culprit in any of those situations. What I have here for the demonstration is a cable that is shorted on the other end so I know this cable is bad and then a cable I know is good. Uh, this is a very short cable. It doesn't matter if you're testing a one foot cable or a hundred foot cable. The multimeter is going to read the same on either. And of course I have my multimeter which is my testing device. If you're having a problem with a high SWR, poor transmit, poor receive, and you're going to test the cable, what you're testing is continuity from center to center on either end of the cable and you want good continuity you want there to be continuity and then from shield to shield on the cable again you want there to be continuity and then you're going to test from center to the shield and there you do not want continuity now the only time that that isn't true is when you're working with a no ground plane system um, you wouldn't be able to test that system with the methods we're showing here this is for standard CB antennas only. So three tests we're going to do. First is the center conductor to center conductor. On either end of the cable, you're going to touch the probes to the center conductors. So on one end and then on the other. And you can see the meter goes up, indicating that we have good continuity. You want to be careful when you're doing this not to touch the probe to the shield while you're touching the center conductor. Second test, we're going to do the same thing only with the shield so you can just touch the probes to the outsides of the cable and you'll see them jump or the needle jumping on the multimeter there. And then the third test is from the center conductor to the shield and you can do this on either side and you can just do both probes on the same side like that and you should get nothing on the multimeter. Now if there were a problem you would get a reaction like we do with our shorted cable where if I touch the center conductor and the shield I get a reaction out of the multimeter. That should not happen. And that's because this cable is shorted out. If that does happen for you, you've got a bad cable. Now, if we were to test the cable, just assume these two were either end of the same cable, center to center, and we get nothing like that. That means there's a break in the cable somewhere. And again, you've got a bad cable. And that's all there is to testing the coax. It's a pretty simple process and eliminates the cause for a lot of problems. As always, if you have any questions, give us a call or shoot us an email on the site. And thanks for watching.